Monster Garo, the hero hunter whose goal is to become a monster, the strongest monster in history, with his desires to reach this goal being so great that he was literally able to change his biology and become one. In the world of One Punch Man, monsters are born from the darkness of people's desires. With the more obsessed you become with reaching a goal, the stronger you become. With monster cells being consumed by humans enhancing their abilities, amplifying their negative emotions and desires, and this directly translates to strength. With Garo being a human that sees monsters as beings that strive to fight to the end, and with the monsters being defeated by heroes, he's going to change that. With Garo getting more powerful as the series progresses with him actually going up the monster rank, with monsters being classified into different tiers based on their threat level. Starting from the bottom, wolf level threats are considered the least dangerous and typically pose a threat to just ordinary civilians. Tiger level threats are a step up from wolf threats as they pose danger to a group of civilians but are relatively manageable for most heroes to handle. Demon level monsters are significantly more powerful than tiger as as they can cause destruction on a large scale and pose a threat to multiple heroes. Dragon level monsters are extremely powerful and are considered catastrophic threats as they have the potential to cause mass destruction and can often take multiple S-class heroes simultaneously. And the last threat level. God. God level is the highest threat level, and monsters in this category are overwhelmingly powerful and nearly impossible to defeat, with these monsters being a threat to all of humanity. But speaking of God, this is gonna get interesting. Garu is climbing through these monster ranks at an extremely high rate, this being due to his extreme mastery of martial arts. As it was stated in a guidebook that he possesses a natural sense of hand-to-hand -hand combat and superhuman learning abilities, which is extremely impressive as Bang in his prime was stated to be blessed with martial art talent. And this blessed martial artist dedicated several decades training his water stream rock smashing fist yet Garo was able to master this technique at only 18 years old. But just being a monster won't get you anywhere, as there's a hero who can defeat all of them with just a single punch. Saitama is a hero who broke his limiter and now his strength is beyond comprehension. So as Garo's strength is measuring up to the rest, there's a hero whose strength cannot be measured. Garo gets even more powerful as he takes on S-Class heroes, and even high tier monsters. With Garo being face to face with the king of the monsters Orochi, and now it's time to see who's really the strongest monster. Orochi attacks Garo and Garo is able to react and adapt to his movements, getting faster and faster with each second that passes. With it being stated that Garo has a similar fighting spirit to Metal Bat, with them both being able to literally overcome death. With Orochi being a monster that's stated to be as powerful as Boros himself. And as Garo is adapting to his movements, Orochi is adapting as well. As the Monster King is able to copy Garo's martial arts, and then defeats Garo. However, this same Monster King, after getting stronger, is defeated by the One Punch Man. After waking up, Garo is face to face with Darkshine, with Garo at this point being completely gassed on energy. They can get rid of him for good. As Darkshine charges Garo, Garo uses his martial arts to block his attack, however it still has enough force to shatter his ribcage. And this is when we notice that Garo is changing. And when Garo arrives on the surface, his biology is no longer human. He's a monster. Monster Garo, after waking up, is so strong that he's able to defeat Bomb and Silver Fang, and one-shots Pure Ugly, with Pure Ugly being able to match Darkshine's strength, showing how much stronger Garo's become, with Garo engaging in a battle with Platinum S and Flashy Flash, with Garo and Platinum S fighting so fast that their movements are happening within fractions of a second, with their speed being counted all the way to 200 times faster than light, and now Garo has to fight a giant centipede. Garo is adapting even faster and masters his new technique, the Monster Calamity God Slayer Fist. With a single strike, he was able to cut Sage Centipede in half. And now everyone knows who the strongest really is. But that's when the world's hero arrives. Saitama arrives on the battlefield ready to make these monsters go extinct. With Garo knowing that if he's ever going to reach his goals, he has to defeat Saitama. Garo adapts and goes through multiple monster transformations, however it's pointless as Saitama calls them minuscule increases. But that's when he finally reveals himself. 
the god of the One Punch Man world. Garu arrives in the presence of God with him taking the form of your most influential person. With God offering Garu everything he's ever wanted, and a way to defeat Saitama. God offers him some of his power and all Garo has to do is take his hand. However, Garo rejects and slaps his hand out the way, but even that slight touch between God and Monster produces something. Garo lands on the battlefield and he's not a monster anymore. He's a god. With Garo getting the most minuscule amount of power from God allows him to get a new transformation. Cosmic Fear Mode. Awaken Garo. Garo in his new cosmic state has gained the knowledge of all flows of energy and behaviors of all forces in the universe, with Garo gaining new abilities as well, with Garo being able to use nuclear fission and cause nuclear blasts with his fists, and even copies Saitama's consecutive normal punches, with Garo using a gamma ray burst to blow away Saitama, with this attack being ridiculously strong. With Gamma Ray Burst being the result of what happens when the literal largest stars in the entire universe explode. With the energy output being equivalent to destroying the Earth a billion times over. But that's when the number one hero arrives. Blast has been away for years studying the entity known as God. With him coming to the conclusion that this being created all of time and space and is the being that put limiters on every creature. Well almost every creature. Blast has even arrived in the presence of God, but now it's time for him to fight one. Blast and Garo fight and it seems that Blast has the upper hand as he's using his space manipulation to get the jump on Garo. However, this doesn't last long. Even as a human, Garo is able to copy techniques just by seeing them done one time. However, this new cosmic state has taken this to the next level. As Garo is able to copy Blast's space manipulation, and make this technique his own. With Garo's cosmic radiation defeating all of the heroes, it looks like this is the end. Saitama arrives on the battlefield and sees all of the heroes defeated, and sees Garo punch a hole through Genos' core. And this is when we finally see why Saitama holds back. Holding his friend's core in his hand, Saitama only has one thing in mind. Serious series. Serious punch. Saitama attacks Garo with his most powerful attack, and if this punch lands, Garo will be erased from existence. However, after his interaction with God, he has a way to survive. The only way to match Saitama's strength is to match Saitama's strength. Garo is able to copy Saitama's strength and calls this new power Saitama mode and winds up his own serious punch. With Blast sensing the energy that they're about to release stating that it will shatter the entire Earth. When Garo and Saitama's fists connect, Blast uses his subspace gates to teleport their shockwave into space. With Blast needing the help of two others to condense their energy, and when it explodes, it sends Garo and Saitama to the other end of space, landing them on one of Jupiter's moons. But in the opposite direction, it made a hole in space. With this punch being labeled Serious Punch Squared, and seeing as they were able to destroy all the stars within this radius and using Inverse Square Law, we can see that this punch generated multi-galaxy levels of power. With Garo looking up at Saitama, Saitama tells Garo that he can finally use his full power against someone who can actually stand up. However, he's not excited due to the death of his friend. Garo tries to use his cosmic abilities against Saitama. However, none of them work. He tries to use his subspace gates, but Saitama just kicks him away. With Saitama even grabbing the surface of the moon itself, tearing it off using serious table flip, Garo states that Saitama's strength is limitless, so he'll just have to copy him limitlessly. Garo is able to copy Saitama's strength, but for some reason it's still not working. We get to see a look at how Saitama's strength actually works as it's shown on a graph in comparison to Garo. We see that Saitama has finite jumps, however there's just no end. With the manga even confirming that it's exponential growth rather than just infinite mass punches. Saitama grows so exponentially fast that Garo cannot copy his strength. Saitama's become bored in this fight yet again, but what happens next? is absolutely ridiculous. Saitama sneezes and the force of his sneeze is powerful enough to destroy Jupiter. As Garo sees this, he realizes that defeating the One Punch Man is impossible. Garo hits Saitama to the other end of space and uses one of his subspace gates to get back to Earth. However, Saitama uses a serious fart and catches back up to Garo. Saitama punches Garo back down to Earth and when he sees the kid that he had a friendship with died, he decides that he's done. 
He tells Saitama that he needs to fix his mistakes. He teaches Saitama an ability that he hoped he would achieve after he got the power of God. However, it wasn't enough. But Saitama is a completely different story. He shows Saitama how to reverse his particles and antiparticles with Saitama's particles doing the same. But that's when Gon takes Garo's power away. But before Garo dies, he tells Saitama that if anybody can master the power of God without taking his hand, it's you. Saitama begins to shoot backwards in time looking at all the past events. And when he sees Cosmic Garo in the past, he does what he does best. He balls up his fist and punches. With his punch being the reversal of causality, mastering Garo's ultimate technique, and defeats Garo in zero punches. In the end, Garo has come a long way since his journey as a human wanting to become a monster, with him finally being able to become one, and even far beyond it. The only question that needs to be answered now is what is good and what is evil? But in the end, I guess good and evil don't really matter. I reject them both. What's up guys, it's Divine. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And make sure you guys go follow the TikTok and join the Discord server. All the links for those will be in the description. But tell me in the comments, who do you think can defeat the human who became a monster and the monster who became a god? Garo.